have been very interested in working with other sites from low and middle income countries uh, in the disorders that we're focused on. In, in general, there's this area of global mental health and what it's about is looking at where the vast majority of the world's population lives, um, which is outside of high income countries. So you have this big research gap, right, that most people live in a place where very little research is done. And you also have a very big treatment gap. Um, in, in vast parts of the world, um, you know, there's, there's just too little diagnosis and too little management of mental disorders. I'm interested in the whole range of translation, you know, translation from basic understanding through to clinical understanding and, you know, bench to bedside, if you like, and then from bedside to the community, uh, to where people live. Global mental health is, is therefore very often about implementation science, but there's also what's called discovery science, right? We, we, we need to be looking at the diversity of the world's population and using that to make new discoveries. And we also need to be working in diverse areas so that discoveries that are made are actually applicable to the world's population. So for me, um, it's just fantastic that Enigma is you know, including more and more sites from around the world. Um, and, and we've been part of that and it's, it's, it's exciting. My interest in Enigma began when we had these collaborations in obsessive compulsive disorder and social phobia where we shared raw data across um, a few sites. We were um, a relatively new and a relatively small imaging site and so we realized once Enigma got off the ground that it provided us well validated pipelines that helped us with technical expertise and assistance and it was a really collaborative environment. So we switched from our own sort of mini consortiums in these small areas uh, to working with this huge consortium uh, which has been incredibly exciting um, and helpful for us. We're working with both brain imaging and with genetics data and I think this is an absolutely wonderful opportunity to look at things from different perspectives. Uh, oftentimes in psychiatry we do things in silos, right? There's biological psychiatry, there's more psychological interventions, there's people working in public mental health. And what, for me, Enigma kind of brings things together because there are a whole lot of cognitive aspects, affective aspects, there's underlying uh, brain circuitry, the underlying genetics, and we're doing this around the world. So it's a kind of integration, um, as I said earlier, of global mental health and neuroscience. There's so many ideas that are coming in, uh, there are a number of projects that we have on the go. So it's been really exciting. Our groups are growing and that's wonderful. It gives us additional um, statistical power. also provides new opportunities for people to take on different kinds of analyses, opportunities to collaborate, uh, opportunities to learn from other work groups. Enigma has been absolutely great for our group and I'd encourage others from around the world to join in.